Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to go over analytics. Now, you can use YouTube analytics to analyze your own videos and your own channel, but what about other videos? How do we compare with them? How can we figure out what they're doing to be so successful so that we can model that? You, you've all heard that saying, success leaves clues, and that's how you become successful is find out what those other people are doing. Well, I have a tool to share with you today that's going to allow you to go check out what your competitors are doing so that you can illuminate it and do it yourself. The tool that we're gonna, I'm gonna show you today is just one feature in a tool called TubeBuddy. I have the link below. It's actually free. They have a free version that you can get started with. And I'm gonna show you one of the features that they have that allows you to see the analytics of your competitors. Let's go ahead and look at a different channel. I pulled up this video because um, it's about social media marketing and Loomly, and that happens to be the set, uh, scheduler that I use. So I thought, well, let me pull that up because I have videos about Loomly. And what you can see here, right off the bat, that you can see that I have uh, TubeBuddy Analytics installed. It's a Chrome extension, actually. And one of the tools that they have is, is that right here on the right hand side of the screen they pull up all the information about the video that i have up and it does it automatically i can go in anytime on chrome and pull up different videos and all the analytics are off here to the right so it's pretty cool you can see how in um, how much information that i get um, one of the things that you can see is the summary right here i can see how many views right away that their video got now you probably said well i can see that by looking down there but you can also see right away their comments how many likes and how many dislikes it gets better down here i can see how they're doing on social media um, she seems to post a lot on facebook and um, she's been mentioned once on twitter now you can pull up your own videos as well and and still get this information just a fyi all right here she has over 2 million views and 25,000 subscribers and 324 videos this is where the analytics gets really good you can come down here and see what tags that this channel used now as you can see i came up next in her search because i have a video with loomly so that was kind of cool i did not know that before i pulled it up so that's kind of cool now if i want to create a video let's say about the best social media management tool and i want to do a tutorial on loomly i can come in here and look at the tags that other people have used and i can copy them so you can hit copy to and then go in and use the ones that you want. Now you don't want to copy it and use exactly what they use. You want to use some of the better ranking ones and then add your own tags in there as well. Now you're probably saying, well, how do I find those? I'll show you that in just a moment. Because another thing that you can do is you can add these tags to a tag list and then TubeBuddy, you have an account where you would go in. There's all kinds of other things in there, but I just wanted to show you this today. But it will save those keywords on a list for you. So in the future, if you want to do another video about Loomly um, or social media management tools, you could label it in a way that you can rec um, go back and get them again and not have to do all this research every single time. All right, so how do I know which ones are ranking? You can go here and it says show search rankings. And then I can see which ones are, you know, the good ones. Now, let's go back up here. And so I can, I can see if I'm going to do a video, I'm going to want to grab these ones with the higher numbers next to them. But I want to show you something up here. One of the reasons I pulled this one is because my number one ranking video is Hootsuite versus Buffer. I did a comparative video and I wanted to compare that video to this video that she has. And that's, that's the whole reason I had pulled that up in the first place. But if you go back up here to the top, I can compare that video. And it says here, this channel's most popular video, or I can compare it to my channel's most popular video. So I wanna compare her video to my most popular video, which is Hootsuite versus Buffer. It's very similar in content. And so I just hit that. Now, if I wanted to compare it to that specific video that I just showed you, then I would put the URL right in here and compare it. And we'll do that in a moment, actually. All right, let's go ahead and compare this one.
as you can see here, um, all of the data for the video that I have here on the board is at the top in blue. Um, that shows how many views. This one has 5,000. My video has 12. So you can see that my video in comparison did either equally as well or a little bit better in a lot of these areas. Obviously she has more subscribers, but that's not bad. I have 2,000 250 subscribers as of this video she has 25,000 and I still was able to rank and that's what I want to show you especially if you're a small channel don't feel like you can't rank and you can't compete with people who have larger channels because you can see right there it, it's really not the channel that you're competing with it's one video at a time that's how I look at it it's not my whole channel now if you come down here this is some more good information two of our tags are the same these are the tags for the video that i'm showing up here and then these are my tags now notice her tags are ranking better um and better than mine so i could go back into my channel what i would do with this data to make my channel rank better is maybe pick up on some of the channels that have um, numbers next to them like here best social media management tool i could include that into my keywords and that's going to help it rank better because that is something people are looking for that's what they're searching for um i wouldn't use loomly in this particular one because i'm not i'm talking about loomly but i can use some of the um more general terms like social media management tool and things like that now i am curious um, because hootsuite versus loomly did pop up let's go ahead and do a comparison with that so i'm going to do i'm going to clear that comparison i'm going to do a new comparison and then i'm going to put the the url right here i went ahead and got it and let's see what that looks like Now my video, this one that I just popped up, only has 752 views on it. So you're going to you're going to notice there's a lot of blue has outranked me in every area. But this is where this information can help me. I kind of knew that going in. I really didn't care about the comparison as much as what can I glean from her keywords that I could add to mine. So we're already using three keywords the same. I'm going to show um, rankings on mine. And I can go back up here. Now, see, I don't have a lot of ranking keywords. So what I need to do is go up here and grab some, go back in and edit my um, video and change up some of these keywords and use some of the keywords that are actually being searched for. So you constantly want to go back and edit your um, videos. Now, you don't want to go back and edit every single one. Um, you want to edit the ones that are being watched and there's ways that you go into youtube analytics and you can pick that up and find out what are your top 10 viewed videos and then maybe you can come in and use your two youtube tube buddy analytics and see how can i make these even better how can i make them even rank better and be watched better because they're already being searched for people are already asking those questions so they're already doing well but how what can you do to it to make them better and people who spend time on the analytics they're the ones that are successful they're the ones that have more videos that are being watched and that are being ranked so hopefully that was helpful for you go ahead and click below and Go ahead and click below for the TubeBuddy um, link that I have there. And like I said, it's free to get started. You can have a free account. You know, It's not even a trial. Um, then you can look at all the features that they have and pick and choose the features that you know you'll use. I started out with the free one. Then I moved up slowly. As I learned the features and I was actually using them, then I upgraded. I did not start from the top and pay money for something that I didn't know how to use. So I don't recommend doing that. But if you're already using it, look at the one right above and say, what are the new features that they have? What are some things that I could use? Use that will make my videos even rank even better go ahead and tell me below in the comments what feature you like best about TubeBuddy and why and that'll help the rest of us maybe learn something new from you all right thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video